The PSAC Championship is always one of the pinnacles of our season. If success is measured by the number of championships won, it's fair to say no team in IUP history has been more successful than the men's golf team. Uh, that's, that's a strong statement. We have so many successful programs at IUP. Um, I don't know that I would feel right saying that. I think that it depends on how you define that statement. To date, IUP has won 30 PSAC titles the most conference championships in school history in any sport. Uh, certainly if you're basing it on PSAC championships, I would say that that's, you know, a fair statement with an asterisk. Like I said, we're, we're just happy to be involved and be associated with all the successful programs that we have at IUP. Flattery aside, there's little doubt that IUP is the class of the PSAC. The Crimson Hawks have dominated the conference for decades and especially so in recent history. Since 2000, IUP has won 13 conference titles, including 10 in the past 14 years. This year's team, led by a foursome of experienced veterans, is eyeing title number 31 at the 2021 PSAC Championships. Sean Fedors from Lancaster, PA. Very talented individual, great student athlete wonderful in the classroom. He's a former PSAC champion and freshman of the year, player of the year in the PSAC, and he's a two-time first team all PSAC team member. Jack Buchegras is a senior. He's going to come back for his fifth year. You know, Jack's a three-time all-region selection, three-time second team all PSAC, and one of our leaders on the team. He's, he's very consistent. Uh, I know that he'd like to shoot some lower scores than what he does, but uh, it always seems like we can count on him for a good solid round of golf. Nick Ward, former freshman player of the year in the PSAC, first team all PSAC selection also his freshman year, and last year he added a second team selection to the all PSAC team. Goes without saying, valuable member of our program. Jack Steve has been an important part of our program. He's a very hard-working individual, both on the golf course and in the classroom. He's a three-time PSAC Scholar Athlete, and I'm sure there's no reason to believe that he won't be a Scholar Athlete again this year. It's that rich history that draws top talent to IUP year after year. The big thing for IUP was definitely the history the program has. Um, I mean, we have 30 PSAC championships, and I knew that coming in, that every year they were always a favorite to win. The big thing that it came down to was, you know, do I want to be in a program where we're competing for, you know, 10th place, or do I want to be on a team that is consistently competing to win and to move on? I chose IEP for golf and just to be competitive. Um, I know this school has a history of playing well in tournaments and winning a lot of tournaments. Um, so I wanted to be a part of that and I wanted to help you know, improve the legacy of IUP. So I knew that coming here, it would give me the best chance of playing in a national championship. And to be quite frank, it doesn't really matter what division. I didn't really care. I don't have an ego about that kind of stuff. All I cared about was I want to go where I was going to win and be a part of really good teams. It certainly makes it easier to recruit to a program that has such a winning tradition. And I include it, that's the first thing I include in any email to uh, my recruits, is an, an overview of everything that IUP Golf has accomplished over the years. So it's a great starting place. Carrying on that long-standing tradition of winning inevitably comes with the pressure to keep producing the same results. I mean, obviously there's always pressure. You know, you want to live up to expectations, especially like with our history. Coming into the program, you can feel that, you know, from 
other athletes, administration, members at the club here, it's expected to win. And when the results don't match the lofty expectations, it lingers in the player's memory. For the seniors on this team, the memories of not winning the PSAC title in 2018 are still all too fresh. I definitely remember, you know, the van ride was very quiet on the way back. No one really said much. Um, we were very disappointed that we didn't win. Um, you know, we gave it our best shot. We didn't lose by much, um, but yeah, it was, it was definitely a feeling. I feel like we let anyone down, but just a matter of, you know, and we were there to win and we didn't accomplish our goal. Back in 2018, yeah, we lost uh, I think by a stroke. Uh, it was unfortunate, the weather wasn't great the last day. Um, all teams struggled through it though, but I think it really helped us as a team grow. Um, we ended up winning a few tournaments in the spring and did really well. I think we missed out uh, NCAA finals by a few strokes, um, but it really helped us as a team um, settle back in. Uh, we thought we had a really good thing going and then just shows that golf is an up and down game. Sometimes it's just not your day. IUP has had a few of those days to start this season. In the first three tournaments of the fall season, the Crimson Hawks finished no better than fifth in any of them. I think it's just kind of been the way golf works. Uh, sometimes you get on hot streaks, sometimes you get on cold streaks. And just when things started looking up, the Crimson Hawks were thrown for a loop. Holding the lead after the first day of the Hal Hansen Invitational in Grove City, their final tune-up for the PSAC Championships. IUP was forced to pull out of the tournament due to health and safety guidelines. Going into Grove City, you know, same expectations as we have for every tournament. We're going to do our best and then see if we can win, because it's the obvious goal. Um, and then after that first day, we all started clicking as a team, and that's something we haven't seen in a while, so that was really good to see. Um, and we were leading the first day, so can't complain, obviously. But then uh, second day, we had some issues, some program sickness. So ultimately, we had to make a hard decision and pull out of the tournament because just for the safety of others. But uh, yeah, obviously, it was a little unfortunate there. We wanted nothing more than to win the event prior to the PSAC championship. It didn't work out that way. We got ourselves in great position after the first day. We were unhappy that we had to withdraw because we were really looking forward to playing and hopefully winning. We'll never know. What the Crimson Hawks do know is that their showing at the Hal Hansen Invitational gave them a needed boost of confidence going into the PSAC Championships. Obviously played super well as a team. Um, I do think that going into PSAC is something good. Um, even though there was an abrupt ending and we had to withdraw, I think that us playing well as a team finally is something that is going to be good to propel us into that tournament and hopefully we can come out with a win. That's the ultimate goal. The team uh, set up on a really good note uh, with that first round. I think it was two under. Uh, the whole team played really well and that's kind of the confidence boost I think we needed heading into PSAX um, so that we can sort of assert our dominance back on the, on the conference. I think what I saw that first round was the way that the, that the players carried themselves, the confidence in which they moved around the course. And that's different from how they played. It's how they carried themselves. They carried themselves like champions. And I think that we can all look back at that and say it's a positive experience going into this week's PSAC Championship. All that's left to do is to bring home title number 31. I was down on the range at Indiana Country Club and Sean Fedor, who was a past PSAC champion his freshman year, came up to me and said, hey coach, I, I, I wanna talk about something. I said, okay, what, what is it, Sean? And he said, you know, it was a bummer that we didn't get to play the second round because we were looking forward to going out and hopefully winning and, and we felt that we were gonna win. He said, but Quite honestly, we got what we needed out of that, that tournament. He said, we, it would have been nice to win, but we didn't need to win. We, we got what we needed. So that's a great feeling that if that's the mindset of your players going into the PSAC championship, it's, uh, it, it's starting off on, on a good note for sure.